unboxing mashup today in this video. Hmm, look at my beard, it's all scrungy. Anyways, um, so got a package today from uh, nickfitnation.com. Um, like I had said in one of my previous videos, I uh, picked up the uh, Mini Pro Tank 3. Um, I don't know how long ago this product came out, but <clears throat> I'm just going to look up really quickly on the interwebs here. So on nickfitnation.com, newest items in stock, there's a list there. Um, Kanger Pro Tank 3 is at the top, that's that's why I uh, decided to buy it was because <clears throat> it was um, new to their site and I was hoping that uh, it was going to be even better than the Pro Tank 2 Mini. Um, because I thoroughly enjoy the Pro Tank 2, um, or the Pro Tank Mini version 2. But I have been around to a couple different vape shops and uh, vape websites, and I, they've had the uh, Pro Tank uh, for a little while now. Um, but uh, back at nickfitnation.com, um, what is he asking, or what are they asking for the Pro Tank? Eleven dollars and ninety-seven cents compared to the Pro Tank uh, Mini Version Two at sixteen dollars, or fifteen dollars and ninety-seven cents. And yeah, so it's substantially. Uh, cheaper and it's a it's a supposed dual coil setup um, kind of a new box for them too but I'll get into that in in the uh, in the unboxing video for that but uh, yeah sub ohming with mods uh, when I went out to one stop vape shop um, in my city here, Calgary. Uh, and, you know, I approached the guy at the counter and I said, Oh, I want to get into a mechanical mod. And, um, you know, I didn't even think right off the top, oh, sub ohming. Um, so when I got all that stuff and brought it home, um, you know, I whipped together a coil. Um, you know, I took my time and built a decent coil, and it, you know, I built a micro um, or a. Um, am I using the right lingo? Uh, mini coil or mic? No, it's a mini coil or micro coil. Nine wraps on each coil got me down to four point seven or point four seven ohms. I'm just gonna double check that right now so I'm curious as to what it was another problem I'm having with this mod is uh, the tank likes to stay on the uh, top connection I really have to really have to grip down hard on that like I can't even get it off I gotta take the lid off grab the o-rings and no, I can't even get it off, so I gotta take off the entire top cap. The entire top top cap with the top battery connection. I gotta sit here and wrestle with it, which is no good. That only happens every so often though. It happens because when I uh when I go to remove the RDA uh top cap I get uh, I spin it in the opposite direction so I, I keep tightening it onto the mod so 
so yeah we're at 0 0.47 now I've been watching some videos on sub ohming and mostly the, the dangers of sub ohming and and when I was at the vape shop um, and none of this was mentioned to me that that these batteries these 18650 batteries you know my fault for not doing any research on it before I went shopping but these batteries these these 30 amp batteries or unprotected IMR batteries uh, you know you stick the wrong build in in your in your RDA or your your RBA too low of uh, ohms and um, according to some people on their videos you know you end up you know blasting your RDA right into your face um, I highly doubt that could happen but you never know I mean uh, if you have a, a mech mod that doesn't have uh, vent holes in it it doesn't have vent holes in it um, I'm sure that uh, if your mech mod is cheap enough or the walls of the uh, of the cylinder are thin enough um, if that battery vents inside of it uh, it could be a, a mini pipe bomb for sure but none of this was explained to me that uh, that these batteries are highly dangerous and uh, so you know like I came home and I was all excited and freaking wrapped up a coil stuck it in there and read the ohms on it and stuck it on my mod and hit the fire button you know nothing happened because I'm in a in a reasonably safe zone with my ohms but if I had somehow managed to come up with a, um, a point you know 0 0.1 ohm build um, it could get uh, it could get dangerous for that battery um, you know I still don't you know I, I don't know everything on it um, but I have been using for builds uh, to compare my ohms to um, to compare my ohms to uh, to either or my resistance to uh, voltage current and my watts or uh, resistance to amps um, anyways I'm using the ohms law calculator so I'll go to the ohms law calculator I'll punch in the resistance I'm using which is 0 0.47 and the voltage I'll punch in as 3.7 volts which this battery is on a good day freshly charged it would be like a 4.2 volts but I would assume that at most cases or most times it would be at 3.7 so it says a 0 0.47 ohm build would only at well at its minimum would be only using 7.87 amps but it's using 29 Point twelve watts. Um, I haven't figured out. Um, I don't know how to figure it out, but how to figure out if there's a safe and a, and a dangerous wattage level for these batteries. From what I know, as long as you're keeping your current or your amps, you know well below the the battery maximum which this battery is uh, rated for 30 amps I guess I should be okay I'm not going to be blowing holes in my face is hole in my face with an RDA or or getting uh, corrosive acids and inhaling poisonous smokes from batteries that are blowing up but uh, yeah, that uh, website's quite handy. That's the Ohm's Law calculator. Um, as far as I know, according to this calculator, I'm safe. All right, so I'm back. I had to 
stop the video and go out and do things I had things so anyways I'm back so we were talking about um, sub ohming with mech mods and the dangers now I don't still I still don't fully understand um, the whole um, ohms versus voltage uh, like I'm depending on that calculator to keep me in the safe zone and hopefully it's correct and I don't end up blowing up a mech or a battery but uh, I am having issues with my battery when I first got it I fully charged it and <clears throat> I used it I used it I used it um, I noticed that the coils weren't firing as strong as they were um, you know when it was freshly charged but not like um, <clears throat> not like uh, I had a voltage drop and I just you know I, I used it three times had a voltage drop and threw it in the charger no I used it and used it and used it before I threw it in the charger um, <clears throat> took it out of the charger using it using it couldn't use it as long throw it back in the charger and it just seems to be getting shorter and shorter I don't know if I had a bad battery or if I went and messed up the battery I don't know maybe somebody can tell me or have a if someone's got a theory on why that's happening but uh, yeah I mean so these eFest batteries I was shopping online for some 18650 30 amp batteries and I was on eBay and um, you know using common sense you can you can spot a fake battery when when there's a fake battery so I, I saw an eFest 35 amp battery the one I have is a 30 amp I saw a 35 amp battery I go on to the guys uh, eBay ad and I'm looking around at the description and seems kind of legit but not and then I go over to his uh, to his uh, rating and his rating is a 97.7% so I figured uh, well yeah okay so I click on you know the reviews or whatever they are the ratings and it's just negative 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 and fake battery this fake battery that and you know how do you even trust if it's real or not right so you know that's why I guess you know you chance it with with stuff like that on eBay but I don't think I'll be doing that um, because the prices that are on eBay compared to the prices that I'm seeing where I shop online and the vape shops in the city I live in are pretty much a dead even match with what's on eBay um, other than when you buy more than one battery so I paid twenty dollars for my battery and on eBay there it's the most common price seems to be around fifteen dollars but with the shipping the shipping is usually another ten to fifteen dollars or uh, yeah it's usually about nine sorry nine to ten dollars so you're looking at over 20 bucks for a battery right so 20 to 25 bucks over 20 bucks for sure the only um, deal I saw or the only benefit to buying them off eBay was that for 30 to 32 dollars that you could get two batteries so you're saving ten dollars if you buy two batteries um, not too sure about that um, I did buy a couple batteries from nickfitnation.com but I'm not a hundred percent on whether they can be used in a mech mod I wasn't planning on using them in a mech mod um, I'm planning on using them when I decide to well I'm planning on buying a regulated uh, either uh, box mod or 
I am looking into the EVIC. Uh, I would love to get the EVIC um, to try that one out, but uh, that one's going to have to wait a couple weeks before I can get my hands on that one for sure. But um, so I've got some batteries on the way. Um, there wasn't much detail on nickfitnation.com about the batteries. Uh, it does state that the batteries can only be used for the EVIC. So that's probably what I plan on using them for. Um, so yeah, I got a package today from nickfitnation.com. It came with uh, my mini Pro Tank 3. Just show you that really quickly, the box for that. Uh, and uh, I purchased this t-shirt. This very nice t-shirt. The reason I, put, I bought the t-shirt was because I plan on going to some vape meets here in my city. Um, I haven't been able to find one that's happening relatively soon, but uh, I plan on going to a vape meet, check it out, see uh, see what the people are all about, and you know, I'd like to uh, represent a uh, company that I know is a, uh, you know, a reputable company that I believe in that uh, sells very good products, so... Uh, NickFitNation.com. Here, let me do something for you. If you can't quite see it, there you go. <laughs> wow, it really shows off the hair on the eyebrows. But yeah, you can see how it just like turns the shirt from black to white. That's awesome. Okay, that's enough of that. But uh, yeah, so. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's just do a quick unboxing of this. So this is the uh, Kanger Tech uh, Pro Tank Mini 3. Um, a little different box style than I'm used to um, because the the Kanger Pro Tank Mini 2 came in this very nice box and you know came with a couple extra coils and everything like that that's that's where I think the the the, the cheaper price comes from um, is the reduction in packaging um, the extra coils that were involved with uh, while well, inside the uh, pro tank uh, 2 mini um, as you can see on this package they have the scratch kanger tech or scratch label you scratch that off and you can go to their website and make sure you have a authentic kanger tech product on the back of the box is their address website and the patent number and also the ohms that the dual coil is set at which is 1.5 ohms so I don't own a coil from Kanger that um, is a 1.5 ohm. Um, just uh, the 2.0 and the 2.2 ohm coils are the only ones that I have. And then on the other side of the box, it just shows you um, the disassembly and what is included in the package so you got your mouthpiece uh, glass tank dual coil and threaded base and on the other side of the box well on the same side but at the bottom um, you can see that it says uh, let's see if I can get that to focus pure taste more vapor so and it also has a sticker on it like the Pro Tank uh, Pro Tank Mini 2 uh, Pure. So I assume that that is the color coordination or whatever for that. At the end of the box just has their Kanger label. On the other side is just their quality control. Whatever the hell those things are. So we get into the box and what do we have? We have a completely sealed Pro Tank 3, completely sealed in this package. I can feel pressure from the air inside, so it is sealed, which is nice. So we'll just go ahead and rip this package open and get the Pro Tank 3 out, Pro Tank Mini 3. So you can see on the Pro Tank that we do have 
Let me adjust my light here. Uh, that's not going to work. So we have the etched, the etched Kanger Tech. Uh, I need to invest in a new camera. I mean, you guys can't see that. So yeah, it's got the Kanger Tech label etched into the base there. On the other side is nothing, and we've got one, two, one, two, three air holes at the base. Now, just let me grab a Pro Tank Two here. Grab it right off my eye taste because that's how I like to use it. We'll stack these side by side, and that's uh, if you're looking for a cover for your um, drip tip, um, the coil cover that came with the Pro Tank 2, Pro Tank Mini 2, um, just that little rubber cap that was that had the coil inside of it, those work perfectly for you know a cover because I, sometimes I stick this in my pocket and I don't want shit getting into the pro tank so side by side basically the same size from bottom of drip tip to base of the coil uh, the inside seemed to appear to be the same um, the glass diameter appears to be the same hmm That's interesting. The draw on the Pro Tank or on the Mini version 2 to the Mini version 3, the draw seems to be better on the 2 than the 3. This seems to be tighter. Could be because I have my fingers over the hole. Nope. Definitely a tighter draw from that. So do we have a removable drip tip? We do. Removable drip tip. Awesome. This one. That's a little loose compared to the second one. That's okay. Drip tip. We've got our removable base, which our coil sits in. Am I right? I'm right. our base and our coil and we have our tank and our glass drip tip side it's got a nice deep well for the uh, condensation that gets built up and we have the inside and they both look very similar other than the fact that um, Compared to the Pro Tank, do I have an empty one? I don't. Let me see if I can just do this quickly here. Yeah, there is a bit of a difference on the interior side of this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but where the coil, the top of the coil, or the base of the coil with the O ring on it this part right here <clears throat> presses up against the uh, inside inner tube on the pro tank um, version 3 this stem seems to be lower than on the pro tank 2 extremely lower so that means that should mean that you won't be able to get as much juice into this sucker as the Pro Tank version 2. Now, do I dare pull the glass apart? I do not. I, I want to use this, so <laughs> I'm not going to dare pull the top part from the bottom part um, just in case. So let's check out the coil. We'll just unscrew it here. Now, I'm interested to see what is inside this because 
I'm interested in the dual coil setup that they have inside this so what I'm gonna do right away is I'm just gonna remove the rubber piece that fits around the stem of the uh, the stem of the uh, coil and I'm just gonna wiggle the top of the coil so it comes apart like so now just to do some investigation here it appears that the coils are stacked on top of each other that's what it appears to be like because when you look down inside of it when you look down inside of it focus focus yeah, no, I'm not going to get good focus out of that. But when you look down inside of it, you can only see the one coil, but look how much wick is running down the side of that. We've got at least three pieces of wick. And that is huge. So when I look down in this, I can't see the second coil because it's covered with a silica wick. But it appears to be stacked one on top of the other separated by a piece of silica wick so that's cool mm -hmm. I have to see how it uh, how it vapes so that would make sense why the center the center air hole or air pipe or whatever the correct name for that is um, the reason why it would be uh, more shallower or further in in the tank than the pro tank version 2 would be to fit this gigantic coil and I'll grab a regular single coil just to show you guys the difference here so we have slippery it's full of e-juice one of my old coils they said no good so you can see the difference in size there just line up the bases there so the height on the dual coil is quite bigger like from bottom to bottom just bigger so that's interesting I'm really interested to see how this is gonna vape we should uh, fill this up and have ourselves a little vape on this but what juice am I going to select oh by the way I love these containers for everything okay this container just holds <clears throat> you know I got my <clears throat> I've got my extra butter balls in here I've got coils and and everything else I've got my my 2.2 .2 coils up here my two, my uh, what are they 2.5 and 2.2 .2 ohm coils here I've got uh, my extra butter balls and my o-rings uh, my extra butterball atomizer. I've got my glass, which I have yet to install on my old Pro Tank, and you know my extra batteries and stuff like that. And then you know I've got my one for e juice, my e juice. And then I've got one for my you know my rebuildable stuff. You know all my pliers and BS in there for for building coils. I freaking love these containers. They're so handy instead of just having everything laying around. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Old Faithful on this one, which will be the uh, the uh, Jazzberry Blues. This is the Jazzberry Blues in the uh, 30 mil, 30 mil bottle. 30 mil bottle? I don't know. Six milligrams of nicotine. That's another thing with the. Uh, with the uh, sub ohm or m mechanical mod uh, or using an RDA with uh, 
with nicotine. Um, some videos that I watched uh, said that using nicotine e-juice is just a big no-no and I can understand why because when I first got that thing going I was chain vaping the crap out of it I was just loving the clouds <clears throat> but you know I been chain vaping it um, quite a bit and I haven't gotten like you know the symptoms of nicotine overdose where you know you're headache dizziness nausea <clears throat> you know I've experienced nicotine overdose I mean my first experience with vaping I nicotine overdosed and you know was almost hugging the porcelain it wasn't a very good experience so I know what it feels like but I wasn't getting that so we've got the pro tank version 3 mini version 3 in there and see I tried to fill it up as much as I could and that uh, wick you can see it was bubbling there for a second it's uh, wicking up the juice so we'll just check uh, on the eye taste MVP here so it says the ohms I would show you guys but you'll never be able to see this oh okay maybe you will be so it's a 1.6 ohm is what the eye taste is saying it is and I'm gonna set it to my preferred settings which is six six watts 3.7 volts 3.7 volts a couple couple primer puffs So that's not bad. Yeah, the draw is a lot tighter. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I got a stale vape there. The draw is a lot tighter on this than the uh, version 2. The taste is a lot different though. It's a lot different from the version 2. I don't know if it's for the better. Or for, it's definitely not for the worst, but. Yeah, the draw is way better on the, on the uh, version 2 but the vapor production I'm getting off of uh, the uh, version 3 is a lot better probably due to the dual coils yeah that's getting better and better every uh, every vape that's getting better and better hmm. oh wow that drip tip just got really warm really warm I'm at 3.7 I'm pretty much at the bare minimum for the air eye taste. Oh wow. Yeah, that drip tip got really warm. Not burning me, but I bet you if I would have stuck some lip meat in front of that, yeah, it probably would have burned me. That's got to be due to the lower ohms. That's good. I'm not minding the draw right now. Because I'm not I'm not a mouth to lunger, I'm just straight lung. Which is weird because that's not how I used to smoke cigarettes. I used to in my mouth in the lung. 
I don't know I don't know what the hell happened but I when I started vaping it was never mouth to lung it was just straight lung like like I was using the medicinals or something the taste has definitely gotten better but I've noticed with uh, the VIPE juice with uh <coughs> with my rda <clears throat> the flavor is freaking awesome like way better than it was ever before flavors that i had purchased i tried you know in the pro tank version 2 i did not like i regretted buying them but now that i've got the rda i'm sticking those ones that i didn't like in the rda and they taste perf like great. They taste better than they did in in uh, in the uh, tank. Tasting way better. Um, but there are certain flavors that like the RDA and certain flavors that don't. Like like the Jazzberry Blues is um, right now is my favorite. And um, when I use it in the tanks, it's awesome. When I use it in the RDA, it's like choking on an old shoe for some reason i don't know why it just does not like the rda but right now my favorite in my rda is the port renfrew uh the port renfrew pudding and um i did not like this flavor when it first came when i first got it um i thought that all oh, the caramel smell in it was just it was it overwhelming but now that I'm used to it and I'm getting the awesome flavors from the uh, RDA and the mech mod um, it's my new favorite for the mech mod uh, as far as putting this in a tank though I don't think that will ever happen because uh, I did not like it in the tank whatsoever and what else was there um, the pineapple punch the pineapple punch which is very similar in color <clears throat> to the uh, Jazzberry Blues does not like the RDA but it loves the tanks <clears throat> orange smoothie is uh, <clears throat> I wasn't a big fan of that in my tank and now I am a huge fan of it um, the Jackie Chang uh, I'm kind of on the fence about that one because Yeah, it's got that caramelly smell to it, and I wasn't. It just, it just doesn't work in the tanks for me personally. Um, the Tofino Mist was good in the RDA. Um, I haven't tried the Bold Blend Tobacco because my Bold Blend Tobacco that I own from Nick Fit Nation is 12 milligrams of nicotine. Um, I got lightheaded off of that when I was using it in a tank, so I could just imagine what it's like in an RDA, sucking back you know a bunch of drops of that so yeah not a big fan of uh getting over, or overdosing on that um i got a couple sample um sample bottles from uh, nickfitnation.com um <clears throat> when i go to nickfitnation.com and um i use the code vip and uh, you know, I I rep my channel on on my order. I say, you know, they ask you on the form, <clears throat> how did you hear about us? You know, I type in uh, YouTube, the Tool King, right? I seem to get a free sample of juice <clears throat> every time I uh, fill an order, so that's great. Um, I mean, uh, if you're gonna make a purchase at uh, NickFitNation.com, use code uh, VIP, you get your ten percent off. Same with uh, smarthoser.com. Use the uh, code VIP and uh, tell them the Tool King sent you from YouTube and uh, <clears throat> and yeah. Wow, the clouds chucking off this thing with the dual coil is awesome. Wow, does that drip tip ever get warm? 
not like a burning warm, but I'm sure without the 10 second cutoff, uh, yeah, you probably burn your lips pretty good. I think this is going to be the one that I start carrying around with me. I'm going to recommend picking up the Pro Tank Mini Version 3 from NickFitNation.com. I'm going to suggest you pick that up because for the value, for the for the amount that that NickFitNation.com uh, is asking for the twelve dollars, you know, plus the shipping, which brings it up to. Uh, just over 20 bucks if you're just getting the tank if you're uh, picking up something else um, I would throw one of these tanks on your order for sure for sure I am now a big fan of this I wasn't a big fan of it when I first uh, seen it getting used to the draw on that yeah that's pretty good uh, that's a pretty good vape there. I don't mind that. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to throw it on the resistance meter. Just because I like using this thing. Mm. 1.5. 1.54. 1 Very good. Definitely going to recommend you guys pick this up for sure. So, yeah, I so I think I'm done with uh, I think I'm done with brick and mortar stores. Um, you know, I hate to say that I got you know, I don't want to piss anybody off, you know, with what I'm going to say, but you know, I hate to say I got ripped off. I know these guys have got to make money, but. You know, I did go and look around, you know, on the internet and a couple different brick and mortar vape shops. Well, no, not, sorry, not brick and mortar, a couple different vape shops websites. And yeah, the Atomo, I paid $100 for it. <clears throat> it's going from uh, $45 to $60 all day long. And there's a version 2 out there, which I would have uh, greatly appreciated being told that. But, uh, I mean, that's what happens when you don't do your research and walk in with a fistful of money and go, let me see what you got. And they're going, yeah, there's a sucker born every day. So, as far as I'm concerned, I was had on the mech. It is a very good mech. Um, but I was had on the price on that. Uh, the clone RDA, yeah, twenty bucks was reasonable. The battery, twenty bucks was reasonable. But as far as the mech goes, um, yeah, I think I had my ass handed to me on that one. Um, and yeah, same with the resistance meter. But I'm kind of on the fence with the resistance meter because it is a quite a good quality one. Um, because I've seen some out there just on on other videos where uh, yeah they just look like they're falling apart and this one's uh, this one's made of aluminum aluminum on the outside nice nice cover on the on the front for the uh, you know you don't need replaceable batteries it's got its own rechargeable battery LED light for charging button all that good stuff but yeah as far as the mech goes I think I had my ass handed to me um, one thing I noticed on this mech which uh, which I think is is pretty awesome is the bottom there is no spring in this this works on uh, magnet resistance negative and negative um, I'm not going to take it apart because it's a little bit of a uh, bitch to get back together, but all it is is two magnets facing uh, the same polarity towards each other, and they just resist each other, and that makes for a very smooth uh, button push. So uh, yeah, guys, I guess that's, uh, that's all I got to talk about today. This video is going to take me forever to upload because now we're on 34 minutes 
plus another 10 minutes from when I had stopped the video in the beginning so I'm gonna let you guys go and start uploading this video so um, just coming up soon I've got um, a bunch of footage uh, for dash cam videos I'm gonna be posting a video here hopefully this weekend um, it is an extreme pain in the ass to go through all the footage in the dash cam because um, I have to work out some way of marking um, the videos that I want to keep either by sticking my hand in front of the camera or finding a different camera that'll take just screenshots or something when something happens but that usually takes me a good four hours to go through 32 gigs of footage so um, and that's including editing and uh, rendering it and then uploading is a whole different whole different story so uh, yeah that's about it I'm gonna get out to the garage here pretty soon and make another video about something in there um, but uh, yeah I mean uh, like subscribe and uh, you know if you like what you see uh, stay tuned and we'll get some more videos up for you guys but uh, yeah that's pretty much all I got on the go for now I uh, just felt like uh, I wanted to do a little vlog slash unboxing mashup I mean there wasn't much to unbox for that Kanger uh, Pro Tank 3 version 3 mini so yeah anyways guys enjoy the rest of your week and uh, the weekend coming up